Hey there, folks and friends. Connecting Dots here. It's Friday, February 28, 2014. Fukushima Day 1085. Now, I can't start repeating in every single video what I say. It's going to bore the crap out of everyone. So, if you haven't seen 1083 or 1084, I strongly suggest you start off there so you know where I'm going here and why I'm so upset and why I've decided to ask for the uh, donations here to buy my own uh, instruments so I can read... Uh, cesium-134, 137, and strontium-90. Now, uh, I received a lot of, well, uh, several, I should say, nasty comments on this Fukushima Day 1084 video because I came out at the end of the video and I told you how I'm going to start testing for the radiation here on the ocean and the seafood uh, with my own instruments. I'm going to ask for donations. I'm going to do it myself. I mean, I did it in 2011, travel across Canada here. Anybody who's following me along, the radiation is here. I caught it in the rainfall, in the fallout. Now I want to check the seafood. In the past videos, 1084 and 1083, I talked about how the government's lying. Stick around here because I'm going to show you again here. They've been caught lying again, folks. And oddly enough, you want to hear a good one? I talked in 1084 how he'd sent a bunch of uh, emails out to different company reps on these uh, instruments. I want to find out information, what they can read, what the price list, yada, yada, yada. I just sent them out. I got a first reply. Guess what the guy does? Instead of getting into trying to sell me the, the instrument and tell me its pros and cons, which he does a little bit at the end of, the, of his email, he begins off with telling me how Fukushima is nothing to worry about and how the levels and how and he's working with the government. And I told him, no, you're not working with the government because the government's not testing. That's been the point of all my videos, how I want, the, I want you to send a request into the Canadian Food Agency so they can be testing. So the guy says he's, he's working with the government and the levels are normal and, and everything has fallen back to normal since 2011 and there's nothing to fear. And I got the email if anybody wants to see it. Sad. What's going on here when you have a guy who's supposed to be selling you these instruments who's turning around trying to downplay all of Fukushima? Scratch your head and wonder what's going on. That's exactly what I did. Now, oddly enough here, and I'm going to, I have to touch this, you know, before I get into the bombshell information of New Mexico, I have to tackle a couple of comments here because Google censors. I, you know, oddly enough, here here I am making YouTube videos since uh, 2000, uh, late 2008, 2009 when I got on YouTube. I can't even leave comments anymore, folks, on my own YouTube. Come on, come get real. I have to join Google+. Plus. Can you not see the scam in that? And to make matters worse, you know, the first month that they disallowed me or took away my rights to, to post comments on my videos, they also took away my rights to control the, the the comments delete them i mean because we have spammers out here there's no doubt about it. at least i got spammers and oddly enough you know again today i go check or should say yesterday they took out another thing more more censorship at google you used to be able to click here add to the top of your list it's gone i can't I, I can click a video but just add it to the playlist i have to go back to my youtube channel and go to the playlist and add it at the top for it to show up so again just more censors censorship from google plus you know and i get into more of it here before i lay some bombshell information about the government's line to you but first let's tackle here nude away nude away well i know i'm not paid by anyone and i know kevin blanche he is no shill he is one of us <coughs> He's not one of us. One of the big things here I talked about, and you, you have to go watch Fukushima Day 1083, 1084. The Edward Snowden files talked about the government plants on the internet, YouTube, uh, bloggers, you name it, they're out here, and he's definitely one of them. How do I know that? Number one, censorship. When I come out and I leave comments without swearing, without calling someone a name, and only stating facts, and that person has to read. Uh, has to give me a rebuttal where they, they, they swear, curse, and then turn around and ban me from replying and then delete the com my comment on that video. Houston, we have a problem. And lucky for me, I'm not the only one who's complained about Kevin D. Blanche. There's other people that make uh, Fukushima videos who've been attacked by Kevin D. Blanche. He just won't step into my court because he knows I'm a bigger ball player than him and I've been doing this much longer than Kevin. I've spent my own money uh, I don't turn around like Kevin Blanche and others and start blaming one political party or another. Both political parties are corrupt, you know. And the, the person down below here is uh, Kevin Blanche claims Putin is working for the Queen. Too much chemo. I don't know about that, but I know one thing. Uh, Putin is, uh, is an Illuminati and so is the Queen. So I don't think they're uh, working. He's working for her. I think they're working together here. The world as we see it is not exactly as your TV portrays it, folks. That's all I got to say. Now, the next ad here, CD, if you had 30 to 45 second ads, I would watch them. 
for you. That would be great for people who want to support you, but I can't afford to donate. Unfortunately, uh, as I mentioned here, I can't even leave comments because I don't join. Go I haven't joined Google Plus. I'll be damned if I'm going to start supporting the beast. You know, uh, Google, Facebook, uh, Yahoo, all of these um, mainstream social places are all data collection agency. They read all of your emails. I've made videos on that. I'm not about to start supporting them. You know, and oddly enough, here you say this somebody comes back you know and leaves a comment but it's marked as spam yeah Jim 187 187 unfortunately Google would also make money on those advertisers pay Google and Google gives a small cut absolutely very small cut to us people the the, the uploader the people that make the videos so and you know and like I said it's all about censorship because I've approved that one and you can see the other ones here you go look on those videos that's the videos where uh, these comments are left I've approved them before you can see the dates here they're not they're not new they're old comments and I've been approving them but Google doesn't want you to see these ones you have to understand Alex Jones of, of course he's a Stratford employee I don't know what to say it's sad here when we have these people trying to t call me a shill hello wake up folks come on I can't believe it anyways I gotta move on here because this is rather important here because as I'd reported there was a, a plutonium leak here at the New Mexico at the nuclear site it's much worse than what we said you know uh, they they'd originally said unusually high levels of radioactive particles you know they were saying that were coming from underground well now the latest test here <laughs> <laughs> and they still try to downplay it. you got to give them credit for that the good old government you know here we go here on the February 24 the new tests show elevated uh, radiations new uh, the new test results indicate slightly elevated levels of airborne radiation is that right is it really slightly wait till you see the next one and here you go on a little further here it says here um, more radiation airborne radiation has been detected in southwest New Mexico from a leak at the nation's first underground nuclear waste dump the U.S. Department of Energy said many of the results are samples collected last week at numerous air monitoring stations. You know, but then they go on to say, hold on a second, what did they say? Oh, the results indicate slightly elevated levels of airborne radiation concentration, which are consistent with the waste disposed at WIPP. The samples taken demonstrate these concentrations remain well below a level of public or environmental hazard. Bullshit! I'm telling you, the government's, they're lying! They catch them lying all the time. Of course the government's accuses us of lying about the radiation. Come on, folks, we know it. Anybody who's been sticking with this this stuff, this, this Fukushima, you already know you can't trust the, the universities. They're in bed with the governments. I hate to say it. They'll do the testing, but they downplay the results all the time. And here again, we have it here. I don't know if you read it, but I'm not going to read the entire thing. But basically, the samples have come in here, and they're, they're showing here that the uh, uh, plutonium-239... 39 times the highest activity ever detected since it began in 1987. And here we have the director himself, Russell Hardy, who goes on to say, I just want to reiterate, normal we do see zero. That's a level of zero. For my radio chemist, zero is not good enough. I don't know how they balance a checkbook because they don't stop until they get to eight zeros past the decimal point. That's normally what we see. He's talking about the levels of radiation here. That's what they normally see. So if zero or eight points past zero is the normal levels, then guess what that works out to? The new plutonium levels are 12,778 times higher than normal. Uh, American, uh, Americium 249, 144 million times. <laughs> Just slightly elevated. Come on, folks. Enough with the bullshit here. You know, and, and did you read that? That this story here, radiation leaks, sparks, cons there's no conspiracy. It's a theory. The government's lying. There is a cover-up. E I reported here on Vancouver, in Vancouver, in 2011. Four days after the plants blew up, they knew that the radiation would be traveling in the jet stream hitting uh, Vancouver Island where I live, or I should say uh, British Columbia, the West Coast. They took down the five Geiger counters on the tops of the buildings in Vancouver. Our first line of defense, they took them down, turned the readings off for 10 days, and moved them inland, way far inland, in Kelowna. Folks, stay informed, stay aware. And part of being aware is watching out who you listen to. You may have seen these other people that are telling you there's 13 reporters that suffered radiation. No, there were 13 employees. It's just sad. I don't know what to say. There's Stay informed here and uh, subscribe. And like I said, you can donate or at least fill out the, the request here, folks. Okay, let's do something together. Take care.